Today I'm talking about the passion of elephants and the passion of cattle. Over the past decade I have encountered the spirits of angry elephants and cattle in multiple dreams and I can tell you that they are very angry at human beings for the endless animal abuse. Recently on the 27th of November 2015, I got another dream, a very short dream about a little elephant calf that got attacked by a bunch of predators, but the baby elephant did not crumble, well, not yet. I think this dream is trying to tell me that elephants need our attention and love. We have to save them before it's too late. So stop killing elephants. Why don't people want to share the earth with these beautiful animals? The creator of miracles created life on this planet for all of us. And there's plenty of space for all children. So if the Creator loves animals, then why don't you love them? In the last few centuries, elephants and cattle have suffered a lot because millions of elephants and cattle have been tortured and killed by people. On the outside, elephants and cattle look different from human beings, but they do have souls. Animals have the right to live, to be free and to be happy. I can feel what you're thinking You don't have to say anything You think I'm just a dumb animal Deprived of my right To be a free animal How I've prayed for a miracle Take a good look at me Before you leave I'm the artwork That you refuse to see Imprisoned in a circus, imprisoned in a zoo, where you look at me, but you've never wanted to know me. You don't see me the way Fire Lobby sees me. You don't love me the way Fire Lobby loves me. You don't carry me the way Fire Lobby carries me. To see the I've always had to live with the scars you gave me. But someday I'll be beautiful.
beautiful and free. I know fire lobby is kind because I know I will survive mankind. We will overcome the human kind. And I will still be singing my song. Hunters kill elephants for their ivory tusks. The ivory trade is all about money. How would you feel if somebody cut off your incisors, your teeth, and sold them as trophies at the market? According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature and the African Elephant Database. The number of African elephants decreased between 2006 and 2013. There were only between 400,000 and 470,000 African elephants left in the wild, based on surveys in 2013, while in 2006 there were between 470,000 and 550,000 African elephants. The new data for the years 2014 and 2015 have not been used yet. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature and the Worldwide Fund for Nature, there are only between 40,000 and 50,000 Asian elephants left in the wild. But this is only a crude guess because these data are old and come from a survey that was conducted in 2003. Apparently, the number of Asian elephants has decreased between 2003 and 2015. The Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora has listed African elephants in Appendix 1 and Appendix 2. Appendix 1 means that elephants are growing extinct in some parts of Africa. Appendix 2 means that elephants may become threatened with extinction in other parts of Africa in the future. Asian elephants are listed in Appendix 1, which means that elephants are growing extinct in many parts of Asia. Although there is an international ban on the ivory trade, there are still plenty of illegal activities unfortunately. Generally, the wild elephants in Asia are more endangered than the wild elephants in Africa, although European zoos have more Asian elephants than African elephants. According to an article in a Dutch newspaper, the NRC Handelsblad, 
in March 2014, there were 337 Asian elephants and only 196 African elephants in European zoos. The number of African elephants in European zoos continues to decline because female Asian elephants give birth to more calves than female African elephants do. For example, in the Netherlands, where I live, most zoos have Asian elephants. Only two Dutch zoos have African elephants. One, Safari Park Beekse Bergen in Hilvarenbeek, and two, Oude Hans Dierenpark in Renen. Last year, the 2nd of July 2014, I visited the Dutch Zoo Artis, where I saw three Asian elephants, Mother Tong Tai and her two daughters, Yinde and Mumba. Sadly, the four-year-old elephant Mumba died on the 7th of December 2014. 15. The cause of death is not certain, but people think she probably died of EEHV, elephant endotheliotropic herpes virus, a type of herpes virus which could affect Asian elephants. Mumba was the youngest elephant in Artis. According to various news sources, in December 2008, African and Asian elephants live much longer in the wild than they do in captivity. Scientists examined more than 4,500 wild and captive African and Asian elephants, and their studies showed that wild elephants live three times longer than elephants do in European zoos. The study also showed that Asian elephants born in zoos have shorter lifespans than Asian elephants that were captivated in the wild and imported into zoos. Zoo elephants often suffer from obesity, stress and mental problems. 
zoos are not a healthy environment for such large mammals because there's not enough space for them. African elephants could grow much larger than Asian elephants, so probably they need more space than Asian elephants. Maybe this explains why African elephants are not doing well in European zoos. On the 17th of May 2015, I visited Peridaisa, a big zoo in the city of Bruchelet in Belgium. The zoo has Asian elephants and African elephants. I could clearly see that one of the African elephants was very depressed because she repeated the same movement endlessly. There are two female African elephants, Susie and Gitana, and both elephants often show those strange movements which are called weavings. According to Peridaisa, at least one wild elephant gets killed by people every 14 minutes. So probably the African elephants will become extinct by 2030. In Peridaisa, there's also a group of Asian elephants. One of these elephants repeated the same kind of movements. It's really sad and painful to see them this way in a zoo, because they would not act like this in the wild. Could you imagine if you had to live in a prison for the rest of your life? That would make a lot of people very depressed. I hope that employees in zoos do their best to take good care of these animals. But no matter how hard you try to take good care of elephants in zoos, they will always feel much happier in the wild. So what can we do to make the violence against wild elephants stop?
people have tortured millions of cattle for their milk production. Farmers give cows a very dangerous artificial growth hormone called RBGH, recombinant bovine growth hormone, to increase their milk production. Millions of cows have suffered from this abuse. There's a ban on RBGH milk in the European Union, Australia, Canada, Israel, New Zealand, Japan and Argentina. But people still sell RBGH milk in many other countries, such as the United States, Russia, India, Brazil and Mexico. That's just horrible because the recombinant bovine growth hormone causes a lot of suffering for cows, according to a report of the Scientific Committee on Animal Health and Animal Welfare. This EU committee gives high-quality scientific advice to the European Commission. The growth hormone increases many medical conditions in cows, such as birth disorder. But RBGH milk is also bad for the health of people who drink it. All humans and cows have the same protein in their blood, which is called IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor 1. If farmers inject cows with RBGH, that will increase the level of IGF-1 in cow's milk. So if people drink RBGH milk, then the levels of IGF-1 will increase in them too. Higher levels of IGF-1 in humans increase the risk of diseases such as cancer. Bullfighting might be the most brutal entertainment in the history of mankind. For many centuries, people have killed millions of bulls for the sake of entertainment. Sadly, this massacre still happens in some countries in Europe, Spain, Portugal and southern France. Bullfighting also happens in some countries in Latin America, Ecuador, Colombia, Peru, Venezuela and Mexico. Maybe bullfighting originates from bull leaping. Bull leaping was very loved by the Minoans in Crete in the Bronze Age. At the palace of Knossos, the capital city of the Minoans, there are many images of bulls. Today, bull leaping is still popular in Spain and southwestern France. When a man jumps over the back of a bull, he doesn't use a weapon, so bull leaping seems less violent. But I still reject bull leaping because I disapprove of all sports involving animals. Bullfighting was very popular in the Roman Empire. It was connected to bull worship. In temples, the Roman god Mithras was often depicted with a bull being slaughtered by him. These temples were located underground. Probably this bloody ritual was called bull worship by the Romans. But personally, I think that killing an animal 
has absolutely nothing to do with worshipping and loving an animal. Mithras might be the original matador. Matadors say that bullfighting is art. Well, bullfighting is not art. It's murder. Matadors are delusional psychopaths. How is it possible that people feel entertained by the suffering of animals? How would you feel if somebody bullied and killed your beloved son in a big arena with thousands of spectators laughing and cheering? People should be ashamed of themselves. People are sadists. But don't underestimate the strength of animals. Especially elephants and cattle are very strong. Millions of elephants and cattle were killed by people. But their spirits are still alive and very strong. The elephant spirits and Cattle spirits will take revenge on people someday. Their spirits will haunt billions of people all over the world. They will drive them crazy. I guess you wonder why I believe this. Well, because I saw it happening in many dreams that I received. I never asked for those dreams. Those dreams were given to me. So now the time has come to tell.
Bah, il joue, hein. Hmm? Camille?